hi everyone so this video i'm gonna explain how you can apply fluid transition effect of our framer on any division or section or any layer you want something like this so for that uh, you need to follow few um, steps and the step one is basement and this one should be the basement one and you have to follow that very carefully like you need to create a component first so let's create that well you can apply this fluid effect on any division i am just showing the button for now as i don't have much time to create a new section or a, a overall things to show you i am really sorry for that as i am spending very uh, busy days uh, from last few weeks so i am extremely sorry but I will explain everything so you can create that uh, by yourself with your own imagination that's what I'm breaking down here so let's uh, create a component first I should make it 475 and 183 it's all up to you and name it button free and apply the layout uh, here and this should be left to right horizontally and I need to add two div or section you can see create two basic layout division here that's the core part to enable this uh, effect so I need to create that and I need to make it fill from top to bottom well that's I have applied let's create the black one and add the blending one should be uh, black one should be color burn and i need to duplicate okay i need to name it black and the white one should be uh, well uh, i'm extremely sorry i need to apply the absolute position here so it can overlap with each other like you need to duplicate that again and name it off white the second layer so you need to ju you just need to make it color dodge and make it off white something like this so yeah our basement is ready now and if i uh like go there you can see the step two is to enable trigger that means uh, the layer we need to enable this effect if I go back and click on it Here you can see there is two shape like this one and this one We applied here that that specific effect that is why you need to trigger that to make sure that this gonna be uh, Like act like that effect. So you need to connect that with this two layer That is why I'm saying trigger that like create liquid effect applicable layout. That's what I'm going to create let's create a button again so I'm going to create a layer and make it round and applying blur effect let's make it 10 you will see something like this don't worry for that because we are using it on top of everything for now but once we have solved that issue it's gonna be okay so let's make it let's make another one and the gap should be something like this okay and if I create another one I can make it absolute for now and make it small and middle so it's gonna be height here but I need to make it uh, the similar one this should be uh, relative here you can make it large but it's all up to you but for now let's keep it as it is well so our main part is ready right so let's follow the next step like the step 3 maintain trade index for each layer right 
so the step 3 I need to follow the Z layer uh, Z index layer for each layer uh, the first one should be the black one if I go on top you can see the layer one the core layers the layer one and layer two the black and off-white one you can see you can see these two black and off-white the two layer should be Z index on top like it should be top of everything right and the layer two off-white uh, like off-white should be top minus one that means if I add Z index three here we can make it Z index two for the uh, off-white one so let's do that so the black one should be uh, let, let's make it four or three and this one should be two right four or i can make it three so you can see everything actually changed right now that's what our goal was so if i want to make it a bit large we can also do that well you just need to center that and you can also make it a bit small because you can see it's going up well uh, here you can make it a bit large it's up to you it's relative now so I need to make the gap should be something like this I'm just showing you like how it's gonna work so if I click here you can see the liquid effect already triggered here because it's all under or beneath of this two so that's how you can that means everything here is beneath of these two core layers the black and off white one and that is why we can trigger this two as a uh, fluid layer right so if i go there again you can see the core layer the black one and off white one should be on top using z index that what we did z index 4 and z index 3 and the beneath one you can keep it uh, any layer you want we need four or three that means it's two now so yeah it's totally fine so we have completed that part so the next part uh, step or the avoid one is don't add any elements on fluid effect applied right so that means we'll have to follow absolute position strategy for that okay let's let's uh, let me explain that well uh, let me add contact us text here so if i add this directly you can see it's now under this one this layer and that is why it's not showable and it's not visible here properly so we need to make it so we need to apply different strategy here like if i uh, push it up on the main variant at this moment you can see uh, we need to add first a uh, add stack layout here and make it fit content on width and the height should be filled it's all up to you but now you can add absolute not in the text text is relative but the layer is absolute of it right so now you can position the text properly over that shape or layer at this moment so that's what our goal was and you can see that's the problem right so you can make the z index zero for this one and this one should be and this one should be uh like you can add one here see the contact us layer is not visible at this moment for that reason and that is the reason we need to add this one on top of everything that was left here so the content layer like at this moment the content layer is that text one right so we need to make the content layer on top of everything that's what i'm going to do like four or five see it's on top of everything that is why it's visible now and the second one the hover one effect i made here you need to make sure the position is properly aligned right see so you can also add the arrow button here as well the similar with the similar strategy just for this one but if you want to create a longer version of uh, content like 
the accordion or the like uh, the nav menu bar or the full screen navigation panel everything you can achieve that by following this strategy by right? like you need to add everything like the content one as a stack or a different layer that gonna be absolute from everything and just need to put that on each variant properly on its position so that it can act properly uh, for each uh, like devices or screen sizes and everything so let me i add the transition first otherwise it's, it's not gonna work properly like if i hover on it you can see it's too fast right so we need to solve that let's click on transition and make the time 1.6 or more than that so you will you will achieve a smooth effect something like this let me zoom in see this is how you can achieve the smooth effect for each transitions uh, like you have so well uh, that's how you can create a, a fluid effect so overall thing is you need to follow this uh, layer jet index content uh, strategy and also this uh, four step uh, like three step and one avoid part so that you can make it properly so if you can follow this uh, three step and one avoid part and and this one i think you will be able to uh, uh, like create any fluid transition effect over framer but if you face any issue you can comment below so i can assist you there and that's it have a good time bye